let's compare the fractions one third versus one fifth. And we're trying to figure out which one is a bigger fraction. So first of all, we want to remember that when you're dealing with fractions, you're starting with one whole. So we have a whole rectangle here. The numerator is that top number. That's how many pieces you're going to get. So you're going to get one piece on this side and one piece on that side. So either way, you're taking one piece of the rectangle. The denominator tells us how big those pieces are going to be because this is how many it's split into. So on the left, we need to take this rectangle and split it into thirds. On the right, we need to take this rectangle and split it into fifths. So you're getting one piece either way, but which rectangle is going to have big pieces and which rectangle is going to have small pieces? If you're dividing it just by three, or if you're dividing it by five. Let's go ahead and see an example. Here's what it looks like when you divide it into three. It's like getting a candy bar, but only having to share it with yourself and two other friends. You're going to get a pretty big piece. But if you have to share it with five people, including yourself, you have to cut the pieces a little bit smaller. So since the numerators are the same, the denominators tell us everything we need to know. Do you want to share with three people or five people? If you want a big piece, then do you want a small denominator or a big denominator? You want a small denominator. Let's go ahead now and fill these in. So on the left, you're getting one piece because the numerator is one. On the right, you're getting one piece because the numerator is one. Which side has bigger pieces? The left, because the denominator is small, so you only had to share with three. When you draw your greater than, less than symbols, I like to think of them as little alligators with teeth, and they're going to eat the bigger fraction. You can also think of it like a Pac-Man, and the Pac-Man is going to eat the bigger fraction, so we're going to put it in the middle, facing one-third.